Good afternoon, Internet. I am Matt Buyak, and in this video, we'll take a look at the 29th problem from the Project Euler Problem Archive. So this problem asks us to find the number of distinct integers of the form a to the b, uh, where a and b are both on the range 2 to 100 inclusive. Now, this problem isn't too difficult to solve using analysis, um, but in this video, we're going to solve it using C++ and programming uh, because it gives us a chance to show off our big integer class. Uh, so I spent three videos um, earlier in this series uh, uh, working on that class. Um, it's a work in progress. I expect to do more videos, but at this point, it's perfectly capable of handling this problem. And in particular, it allows us to just calculate all of these values, uh, sort our list, and then eliminate the duplicates to find out uh, the number of unique values. Uh, so with that in mind, let's get into it. As usual, we'll copy our template directory to make our problem directory. And open our um, main.cpp. Okay, um, so we will need a uh, list. We'll also need to include our uh, big int.h. And we'll need to add our um, number theory library to our make file. Okay. Um, so let's start by creating a list of big integers. Uh, we'll just call that values. Uh, we'll also need uh, A and B. Um, and then we'll just iterate. Excuse me. And then we'll just iterate. Um, you know, A is going to be um, you know, starting at 2 and uh, less than or equal to 100, increment A. And uh, then we'll start by uh, adding, uh, the first one is just going to be um, A squared. Um, you'll note that we're, uh, we're not adding powers where the exponent is 1. Uh, we're starting at uh, exponent of 2. So we'll say uh, values dot um, in place back. Uh, a times A. Um, so this uh, uh, method here in place back is just going to construct a big integer on the list using the argument given. And if I just pull up our big integer class um, real quick, that's going to use this constructor here. Okay, uh, so we add that to our list. Then we say for uh, b is equal to 3, we've, we've already uh, taken care of the um, b equals 2 case, so we're going to start at 3 instead. Uh, b less than or equal to 100 plus plus b. And the way we're going to add the new uh, values um, you know, for each additional uh, exponent of um, a is to just copy the old value and multiply by a. So we'll say uh, values dot uh, push back, values dot back. Um, and then we'll say uh, values dot back dot uh, multiply. And we're just going to multiply by a. You'll recall that this method uh, multiply here does a multiply in place. It doesn't return anything. OK. I think that should all be good. And so then we'll just do uh, values.sort, values.unique. There are uh, percent LU unique values, and that's going to be uh, values.size. Uh, 
okay. It says there are 9,183 unique values. And so uh, if we go back to the archive here and check, you'll see that that is in fact the correct answer. So in the next video, I'm going to take another look at this problem, uh, but solve it using analysis alone. So if that sounds interesting to you, please check that out.